In the beginning, I used to think that my idea was the best one, that I was somehow the center and I could think of something and elaborate around it, but really the input of everyone around was quite secondary. Until I really looked at the shots after years of work, and I always realized that when people were in freedom after the shooting, it was invariably much better than what I had planned. So I started to be a little bit less self-centered. And I, not necessarily invited, but listened more to whatever people would come up with, whatever they wanted. If they wanted a different color than the one I thought, oh, I said, oh, maybe I should try that. I want a different place. They would look in the camera and propose something different. So I would let a lot of things go when I think it's really recently that I realized after years and years and years of work that the work is not really starting from one place, which is that me, me, me. No, it's really the assemblage of all forces that come from totally unexpected areas. And you could say in some ways that the work makes itself. It just happens to be. JP would have an idea if he wanted to use specific people for um, a photograph, for um, a shoot, and a lot of times, so we got to we got to help him decide which ones we wanted to do because he wanted us to be just as excited about the work as he was. So um, oftentimes we would look through a book of classical paintings and um, his his own sketchbook and ideas that he had and if something like spoke to us then we would do it if we were in the right kind of um, environment if it if it we would kind of we would drive to the location we would scout around and look for a good place to start setting up and just kind of feel it out and see like what could work there uh, it was very, it was all very collaborative though, like he really involved us with it and it was really nice that he did that because we got to um, have a lot of say in what we were doing, which was a good thing because it was just so time intensive that like it was really nice that we wanted to be doing those specific projects. I started 40 years ago working with basic materials such as sand and ice. 25 years after that it moved into pigments and then it moved into the bare body. But the commonality between all these elements is that they are all primary elements. The grain of sand, the grain of pigment, the drop of water, the bare body. In other words, I love to come back to what is essentially indivisible. Uh, and in a way, it's the symbol of what we are, uh, not just tangibly, but also in terms of relationship with the rest. I've discovered that it's not just this body that is indivisible, it's everything. In other words, if I take a piece of, even this piece of paper, and I throw it out of the universe, actually the whole universe would come up, would follow that piece of paper, and, and attached to it, it would disappear with it because everything is so intimately related.